Hey my YouTube family, how's it going? So I'm glad that you know you liked my Q&A session which we did yesterday. You know I answered pretty much about close to 30 to 40 odd questions which is I think pretty okay. I cleared my backlog because I get many questions on a daily basis and I'll continue to do these weekly series, these Q&A via my WhatsApp, uh, Twitter. You know it's important for me to get connected with you and understand and address your issues. You know at least you have somebody who, can, who actually listens to you and, and addresses your concerns. If I'm not being able to answer those queries guys, I'll get back to you. You know just hang in there, be patient. I know it's a difficult word you to obtain please but be patient so what are we talking about today guys uh, this is the topic that I will be talking about something which you may not have even heard of uh, uh, probably because I get this questions from a lot of people saying that Tarun you know I've hit a plateau I have hit a stage where my body refuses to grow uh, I have tried different training programs I've tried different diet plans but my body is just not growing what do I do so in this video I'll be sharing something with you not just it's going to break your plateau but will also it'll help you grow and take your body to the next level without even you knowing about it what am I talking about guys you thank me for this I'm talking about pre-exhaustion training Heard of this term? Pre-exhaustion training. Don't go by the term here. You know, pre-exhaustion means actually pre-fatiguing it. Pre-fatiguing means that, you know, before you actually start doing your compound movements, you know, you're doing your isolated movements. Now, as a conventional rule of thumb, what people tell you, your trainers tell you that, you know, for a chest workout, you start your workout with either bench press or incline press, uh, and then probably move on to flies and, 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 and cable cross. The pre-exhaustion rule says that you know so all these bench press and your incline press these are all compound movements whereas there are isolated movements like cable cross and, and flies the pre-exhaustion rule says that you know you should start your workout with isolated movements for example if you're starting your chest workout so this time when you're following this pattern you're not going to immediately go and start doing incline bench press rather you'll first do your cable crossover so the idea behind is that you know you're going to pre-exhaust your working muscles so that you know you reach your muscular fatigue earlier than your neurological fatigue Am I using two technical terms here? I'm going to simplify it for you. Which means that, you know, whenever we do compound movements, like so for example, bench press, more than our muscle fatigue, you know, our mind gets tired and we eventually give, give in. We just, you know, you know, stop doing that training, stop doing that set. Whereas, uh, uh, if you were to do a pre-exhaustion training, uh, uh, after about a couple of sets, when you approach your compound movements, the same bench press, here your muscle is already tired. So what you're doing is you're doubling the effort of your training of that bench press movement. So that is exactly what pre-exhaustion training is, guys. And this you can adopt it anywhere. For example, uh, now you're going to say squats. Now in squats, if you go back to pumping iron, Arnold always used to do leg extension before the squats. There's a reason. It's pre-exhaustion. So not just warming up your uh, quads, but also you know pre-exhaustion of your quads, so that when you hit your squats, you exactly know how to feel that pump on your quads. Whereas we in India, we technically you know follow the same convention pattern doing compound movements and then hitting the isolated movements for example now uh, comes to your uh shoulders shoulders we typically do you know either shoulder press or, or front press as a compound movement now what you have to do is you immediately start with side laterals or front laterals and then move to compound bigger compound movements so what you'll realize is guys that you once you start doing this you know obviously you're breaking away from a conventional training uh, pattern and you're taking your body to a different shock zone and the moment you get into that shock zone your body will eventually respond and it will respond in a positive way but remember one thing whenever you do your uh, isolated movements these are the cable cross or, or side laterals uh, you got to go a little heavy not heavy as heavy so that you know your compound movements suffer but so that that you know you actually tire your muscle out for example if you do your uh, side laterals ensure that your shoulders are actually exhausted they're pre-exhausted so once you reach your shoulder press movement you are at a stage that you know what you already have the pump now the shoulder press is only going to take it to another level what do you call it insane pumps that's the idea behind this pre-exhaustion training guys it's for you to actually incorporate different things into your workout don't follow that conventional wisdom you know the other day i talked about staggered sets you know wherein you can improve your lagging body parts in this video i'm sharing something that you know pre-exhaustion training something that nobody's actually sharing it with you but these things actually work guys don't follow the same old shit what people have been telling you try things differently it will work in this channel i'll continue to share such uh, practices with you continue to share such ideas and training patterns which will help you break away from that plateau and make you do different 
different things so that you grow any one of you who have any questions around this feel free to reach out to me either on my facebook youtube or instagram i've also have a whatsapp channel where i do this you know uh, daily q and a series for about an hour uh, i have a huge backlog of people wanting to be a part of it i will add them slowly steadily i have close to about 200 people right now but i will add them gradually so any one of you have any questions feel free to reach out also on my twitter handle hashtag ask tarun gil and just type your question and i'll be happy to address it you know the following sunday where we do these weekly q and a so until we meet again peace